Y'all don't understand what we got up in here today, man. We got a we got a big part of history right here. You about to get the uncut Goody Mo B. Yeah, we about to do it. Give yeah, ain't never put no filter on it. Mm -mm. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> man, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Yeah. We gonna get through it. Biggest thing that knew I knew that we jailed as a group was like the night we had the battle roots on 89.3. Like when we battled roots at that time, it was almost like shit, that was like us against them, you know what I mean? And it was our, us putting our skills up against they Philadelphia skills, right. you know. So it, it, it made us say, okay, okay, we good enough for that, we can do that. See, me personally, I ain't never really been into the freestyle and shit, because I've always been like, shit, that ain't me. Like, needs to do that shit, like Snoop and all them niggas. Like, they always been able to do that shit. Like, you know what I mean? As a kid, for me, I never learned that way, because niggas always was like, y'all niggas ain't supposed to rap the way y'all rap. Right. And y'all niggas ain't got them out here, got them scrub, that grind. Like, right. and back then, <laughs> yes. they were got them. If you wasn't doing that, that nigga was kind of like, boy, you got them doing that New York shit, you tripping. But it wasn't even that. It was just saying, no, I'm doing Atlanta hip hop, but I'm just applying what New York doing and doing it here. You know what I mean? That's That was the whole thing because it was like, okay, if we gonna come at the outcast, you still gotta look at the mind frame of us. It's like, we moving. This is the first time we dealing with fame, videos. It's all this shit going on, bro. Like, you can, now, you, now we're being used as, you gotta look at the time. Like how it is right now, how, it, how Atlanta is right now. Right now, that's how it was. That's what created us. Right. You know what I mean? Like how this shit going on, these nigga popping, but that's what it was. It was that's what it was, and it wasn't no cameras. Right. <laughs> it, it wasn't none of that shit. It would get to it times. Yeah, nigga, get to it, but you on camera. You on camera somewhere. Somewhere. Got you know what I mean? It's like that's the only difference that I know that now it's more about with this internet, with playing <laughs> with. It's like with forces. It's like look. Right now, I can take the most vile situation, put the right situation together, and sell it. Then you gonna buy it. You couldn't do that then. It had to goddamn go from the clubs to the street. You had to goddamn walk up in the club and get up here. And it, it, it was a different mix of people. It was always the kids from over there in Little Five Point. Always the kids downtown that went degraded. The kids that went out there to see that's that's when when Keller Road was the shit. So everybody went to South the Cab. Like you know, kids on this side, these went to College Park shoe store. You gotta look at all this shit before Greenbrier got to popping. You know what I mean? Like they 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 ain't start really building Greenbrier up to down near the shit before I graduated. So that's like 89, 90. <coughs> You know what I mean? So you gotta look. That side, we first start getting Burger King, right. shit like that. So I'm just saying that Atlanta was still slow to the average eye. You know what I mean? If you wasn't in the street, you didn't know. And if you wasn't in, in into the game, then you damn sure didn't know. You know what I mean? Kids only went to Walters. The freshest kids were the niggas from downtown. They had the freshest gear. Them niggas were the killers too. Like that was Techwood. Yep. That was all that shit going on down there. That was a whole nother world, my nigga. That was like a whole nother city in Atlanta when that shit was popping, man. Like you go and that shit was like send the blocks. Like people lived in send the blocks upstairs and downstairs, man. Like shit was like a whole nother city in Atlanta. Like over there with that 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 aquarium is, that was a whole nother city, man. That shit was the you gotta understand, that was the first projects in the United States. And that shit was dead to house nothing but black people. That shit was a whole nother <coughs> goddamn community, a whole nother Atlanta. That shit shaped everything in Atlanta. Bankhead was everything. The first <coughs> rapper that in the game was Mojo. That was the first nigga we heard, like, yo, Mojo. You know what I mean? That was the first nigga we heard. 
But then Shadi, once he went, then Toon, you knew that was gonna happen. Okay, Raheem, he was the guy, and then the first, the first time I ever did the show, bro, was on, 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 on Stewart Avenue, man. I opened up for Sammy Sam. Wow. That was the first time I seen Sam. Like, damn. Yeah, I just Asked, uh, you know what I mean? Sam, like, man. The the yeah, he been gone, man. That's the real one, folks. See, that's from the old school. See, you can't talk to him. You know. Yeah, still be fighting. It's, oh, it's on go. <laughs> he <laughs> called me from the hole. You know what I mean? Fight. I'm just saying that you gotta realize that when niggas ask me, man, where's so and so at? What's so and so at? Man, they ain't built for this. No matter the money, no matter what them folk gave them, no matter at the time when it happened, they're not built for it. You know what I mean? I get choked up about talking about my life because it'd be like, shit, man, just imagine knowing, uh, watching, feel, seeing Pimp, seeing Bond pull up at the, the dungeon after they first have me, like, yo, what's up, nigga? We in town and shit, man. This, I'm Pimp, this Bond, get my mama. What? They just pulled up on y'all? Yeah, that? like Carl Reek was like, nigga, we coming down there. We like y'all shit. <coughs> drove in the Cadillac, nigga, pulled up here. Mama at the wheel, nigga. Er. What's up? Pimp, what's happening? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that kind of shit to knowing, like, man, me and my nigga got damn soldier sled hanging out in New York, pressing niggas to play South nigga records in the club one minute, like, nigga. Soldier, like, nigga, play some goddamn nigga Master P or something up in this bitch, nigga, like, we in here. To he go back home and get killed on him on the front porch. It's like that type of shit where it's be like shit, my nigga, like, when, when you doing it and you doing it doing that time, you like, man, I don't want this shit, you know what I mean? I don't, and, and, and that's the, that's the, that's the hard part because it's like, when you watch the youngest now, you like, man, they didn't get all their money. And they ain't tripping, but just look around, bro. Look who they playing with, man. Look who they playing with. It's real in your face, man. Look what they doing to Kanye. Like, look what's happening. My nigga, look at the off balance. Look at the look at the shit. Like, that shit in your I face. Shit. You know what I mean? You sell your soul to this shit, man. You get what you give now. Right. You want it goddamn, you want it all? Unless you got the records, goddamn, you got to figure out something else to sell. Hey, hey, man. That's, real. that's some real shit, man. <laughs> you get out what you put in, huh? Hey, man. Once the hits ain't there, wait, hey, baby, what we got? Yo, we going on to the next. Come on, man. This nigga get deeper and deeper. Four records deep, and I still, <laughs> still get stage, stage fright. fright. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, I, mean like, I don't it's know. Like, I, don't, I don't really know how to say. Hey man, like at the court of the girl, it's like shit, man. I ain't got up here and oh man, shit. You can't like that person. I can't like this person. I can't. If you don't fuck with that person, it's like man, look, <laughs> man, look. We still, we still deal with all that shit right now. Niggas say that shit all the time to me, man. I ain't tripping if a nigga around right here y'all say the greatest and he the god. Yeah, okay. I, I walked right past him, seen him when I was saying nigga wasn't shit. Like, I understand. You know what I mean? If that's what y'all feel, great. You know what I mean? Because when you look at shit like that, you just be like, man, understand this shit is a business. It's about who gonna make them the most money. How did niggas get to that power? Did they deceive? Did they cut their buddies out? Did they want it all? Do they want it all? Hey man, look at how they got there. If that nigga right there a legend, then what's the difference between the nigga living to it too? If Pac died and he a legend, what made him a legend? You know what I mean? Only nigga that really, to me, they he was. Big was. You know what I mean? But I just wonder, I'm like, if this nigga live, man, how nigga would have did them, man? Yeah. How nigga do now? I'm just saying. I'm just saying that part. Like if nigga really live, how nigga would have did? Because sooner or later he would got tired and said, "Hey man, shit, my nigga, I just want to kick it for a minute, man. I just be normal for a minute, my nigga. You know what I mean? I don't want to be nobody." And you'd have been like, "Man, that nigga lame." <laughs> like understand, you got the real shit when you live real life. If I don't real live, if I don't, if I don't live real life, then how I'ma write some real shit for you again? If I don't go through and go together and go through the fire again, whether what level it's on, no matter what level it's on, life still life. Like you said, you said back in 
nigga, it was like two years span between each album. Nigga could live his life, come back and drop another They give a shit. nigga something for real. Now, now about the last it's like, album it's like my nigga, this shit microwave. And it's microwave in a way like, I can't diss it because that's where we at in history. But I'm just like, okay, well shit, all I can do is just say, hey man, like, this shit seem orchestrated. <laughs> you know? Nigga tell you one minute you can't drop a record unless you got a club record. And then nigga tell you in the next minute you can't sell a record. Nigga just, just do like Meech. Like come on man, they got they look at the different way niggas are set records up. Like man, nigga you ain't in the club throwing up throwing records. They ain't got nothing to do with the music. This is you ain't doing the look. If you ain't popping bottles, nigga, you ain't it. Nigga, you ain't got the goddamn diamonds. You ain't got the bag. It's like shit, my nigga. Was well, shit? When the nigga gonna be them? <laughs> you ain't gonna never be them. <laughs> if you keeping up with every goddamn thing going left, my nigga, when we gonna get some real shit, my nigga? When we gonna get some real shit out of anybody? Cause if everybody get caught up in that, then that's why the era of the, when niggas get say, man, shit, what you mean? That's the. I'm not tripping off no era, nigga. I'm just saying. When you didn't, when you couldn't look in a nigga pot, a nigga that had nothing but to do but to do the best. Right. Now, it's like, man, I ain't got them. Oh, let me steal this. Oh, 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 that how you do your ass leave? Oh, boy, let me get that shit. <laughs> what? It's like, okay, y'all doing the words like that? Boy, I'm about to do that shit tonight. It like, come on, my nigga. And then don't nobody say nothing. That's all I'm saying. That's where I'm like, well, hey, man, I ain't tripping. I ain't any generation. I'm just saying, when somebody gonna say, hey, man, what y'all nigga doing? That shit's my, my shit. Right. <laughs> can like can y'all get on my dick? <laughs> and then nigga be for real about it because when you saw, at that time, when you saw that damn Ghostface do that the motherfucking nods in front of everybody like hey my nigga I don't nigga sound like me and put that shit on record that shit was like that was like a national threat like it was a national threat throughout hip hop hey man ain't no biting allowed in this, this shit right here but you hey, bite the wolf see, we you gonna beat your they, ass uh, played, they played some action Bronson for uh oh man they played some some action Bronson for, for uh Motherfucking ghost face. He thought it was his mm -hmm. old shit. <laughs> no, he, he was like, this my old shit. shit. I ain't heard this in a minute. They were like, nigga, that's <laughs> another nigga. And and a, a white dude. A white dude shot exactly like this nigga. Then he showed him the picture. Like, but oh. if you look at it just like you look at the fine, man, you can't get them get to a little, another level unless one go with you. Talk about the documentary? Hold up. You can't get to the nail that going to eat you, bro. Mm -hmm. So is that real power or that, or that orchestrated systematic power? So we still in the game. That's all I'm saying, bro. So if you ain't playing the game or what they playing right now, it's like you ain't in. It's easy to shut you out. This shit the matrix. You can be the best you can be. Only reason why the only reason why him coming back, cause man, somebody say, hey man, we can make it work. <sighs> No matter, we can make it work. Keep the numbers the same. Don't worry about it. The streaming shit. Hey, hit the button. We look good, baby. Pick up awards. Hey, man. This shit all got there inflated now. What made me go back in the studio now with Dr. Dre and Duel? It's money. But is money in motivation? It can't be. You know what I mean? Man, we about to go back in. You know how much you got niggas when they was on punishment when they they could watch TV, but they was on punishment. Whoa, it's about to get set up.